So today we're going to be looking at this software called Mini Tool Partition Wizard. They've got free versions and paid for versions. For example, the free, which is lifetime free, you can create, delete, format partitions, move, resize, and extend the partitions. And you can even check the file system and convert from FAT to NTFS. Now, if you do decide to upgrade to the pro version, you do get a few other features, including in the converting dynamic disks to basic. You can migrate an OS to another SSD or hard drive. You can copy an OS disk, convert OS disk from MBR to GPT, and you've also got a bootable media builder as well. So you can actually create a bootable disk, so you don't need an operating system to use it. So you just plug the USB pen in your PC, start it up, and bang, it loads up the software. They do have a Pro Platinum version as well, which also adds on partition recovery and data recovery. So you've got quite a lot of features in there. So it's not just a partition manager it can be potentially data recovery tool as well and there's also stuff in there which is not mentioned on here where you can actually test speeds and stuff like that as well which we'll have a look at in a few minutes they do have the pro ultimate as well from what I can see it's basically exactly the same but it comes with a free lifetime upgrade and you get extra licenses so for example the pro version one license for one PC the Pro Platinum for free PCs and then the Pro Ultimate for five PCs. Now there are other versions available as well so let's just show you you've got the Partition Wizard server as well so obviously this is designed for servers and obviously as we mentioned you've got that Partition Wizard bootable which comes with the Pro and above versions which gives you lots of different options on there. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the top end version, which is the Partition Wizard Pro Ultimate. Now, we're not looking at the server side of things, so we're only looking at the traditional version which would use on a PC or a laptop and so forth. So first screen you get up is the partition area so it shows you the partitions in your machine so you can see the drive letters and the partitions and so forth. You can see the capacity, how much you've used, unused, the file system so XFAT or NTFC and you've also got the type so like GPT and so on. You can also see the status if it's enabled and so on or if there's any issues or if it's the boot drive and so on. So it makes things easy to find out what they actually are. It also picks up stuff like SD cards, uh, compact flash cards, external drives and stuff like that. For example, we've got a compact flash type B card here and an SD card there and it's picking those up absolutely fine. You can also see down here the actual physical disks, so you can see that uh, disk Z, for example, on here, what says new volume. It's a full drive, it's got nothing on it, there is no partitions on it, where well, you've got a disk 2, which is going to be the disk what we use our C drive on, so our boot drive, and it also shows the small partitions, what it uses obviously when it sets up and so forth, and you've also got uh, another the uh, SD cards and compact flash cards we spoke about there. Now, you've got lots of different options on here, so let's just click on the Z drive. On the left-hand side, you got you can migrate the OS to a SDHD wizard. You've got copy a partition. You've got copy disk wizard, partition recovery wizard, just in case you mess something up. You've got move, resize the, part, resize the partition. So, for example, if you wanted to do that, you just click move, resize. It comes up on here. You can either type the numbers in in either terabytes, or you can change it to gigabytes megabytes and so forth or you can actually drag the end bit and resize it like that press ok obviously i'm not going to do that now because it's going to take a while but then that will create you obviously the partitions you want and then you can create another partition and so forth if you wish which is pretty good you've also got mar uh, merge partitions so if you do have two partitions it will merge them together you can even split one slap bang in the middle so you go oh i just want to split that one partition into two you can do that and it tells you the size of each partition and you've got all the usual stuff down that there like copy partition stuff which is really good bear in mind you can also run this not just within windows itself you can create a tool if you've got the pro version uh, which you can boot from and it will give you a very similar user interface 
You've also got obviously other options at the top, so you can change view, partitions, dynamic disks, and everything on there. And you've got all your help uh, information there as well, and checking for updates. Now, the interesting things is, and I didn't realize when uh, I got asked to review this, that it actually comes with data recovery, disk benchmark, and even space analyzer in there as well. So, for example, data recovery. It'll load it up, takes a few seconds, um, but when it does come on, it tells you the disks, which drive do you want to do. You can basically scan it, and then it'll have a look to see uh, if there's any missing files in there. I have done a test on this. Obviously, it takes quite a while, especially if you're scanning something like a 4 terabyte drive. So if you did decide you wanted to recover some data, you click on the volume you want to do, press scan. Again, I'm not going to wait for it to go through, but it'll go through and you can see here lost files, existing files, deleted files. It's showing these here and then obviously you can use the drop downs and it'll give you even more information and so forth. But as you can see at the bottom, it's going to take five hours and six minutes. And obviously, I don't think you want to be watching all the way through that. But once you've done that, you can go and save it. You can pause it and stop it as well if you wish. So I'm just going to stop that there. Now, bear in mind, this opens up in tabs, so you can have a data recovery tab open and partition management open at the same time, and you can also have disk benchmark and so forth. Um, obviously, when you are cancelling stuff, it takes a few seconds. So let's go over to disk benchmark now. Oh, it doesn't want us to do. We've got to close that. Yes. And no, I don't want to save the data. So disk benchmark, so you can choose a disk you want to scan. So let's just say our C drive. You can do the transfer speeds, number of tests, and so forth. And just press start, and it's as simple as that. And that will go through and then test the disk and give you some read and write speeds. Our numbers will be slightly out because we're currently using this drive it's testing uh, to record this video as well as doing all the other things we've got running in the background. Obviously, when doing test to drives on drives, you need to do it on basically a clean drive, which you are not currently using for something else. Uh, like a boot drive, it's a bit pointless testing the boot drive while you've got the operating system on there and you're running it because, well, it's running in the background and it's going to affect the test results. So I'm going to press cancel on that one, which will take a few seconds for it to cancel while it's in the middle of a test. There we go. And then we'll go on to something else. So we've got space analyzer here. So you can go there. So you can scan the drive. So let's start it off. And this will tell you what is taking up space on your machine. So you know if it's pictures, video, documents, and so forth. But bear in mind, this may take a few minutes to go through. So once it's scanning, it tells you at the top, total space, 900, 930 gigabytes, space U, 669, and how much free space, which is 260 gigabytes. You can see here a tree view, so it shows you what's using the most amount of room. So we know the user folder here is using the most size. You can then click on the little arrow there. It'll then obviously narrow it down and says oh yeah the fill one has got most of the files in 107 gigs and I can click on that and then you go down app data has got 60 gigs so I've got a lot in app data that's because we use this for uh, doing a lot of Premiere Pro work which is video editing it saves a lot of stuff in the app data folder and so forth so you can see stuff there or on the right side you can see what type of file so the system files as you can see take up 35 gigabytes the mp4 so that's video files are taken up 35 applications dill files 38 outlook data file is 21 gig so you can see where all the space has been taken up you can go do file view as well tells you all the different files and then you can do folder view as well so it gives you lots of different information you can pretty much see where everything is when it was last changed and everything along that lines so yeah, it's pretty good. Um, if you want the manual, it's at the top right hand corner, takes you to their website, gives you a bit of information and you've got the main features. You've got bootable media there so you can create that bootable drive. I would suggest you make sure you have got a blank USB pen to do this because more than likely it's going to overwrite what's on there. So if you want to do data recovery, partition recovery, disk benchmarking, analyzing the space, this tool pretty much does everything so 
If you're looking for a tool what does everything, which isn't that expensive in reality, then hey, this may be the tool for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.